Right now, but don't look at this. And this isn't for children to see. I do not advocate for this lifestyle. I personally only do this kind of shit to numb the pain and force novelty. So at this point, I went three weeks since my last scary DXM trip without taking it again, but this time it kind of came to me. Let me explain. On September 1st, I went out to lunch with my ghetto mom to talk about transgender stuff since I don't see her that often. And after lunch, I got left alone in her house for a bit and I literally found four bottles of Robitussin. Now, Robitussin syrup does and actually have a lot of DXM, so four bottles is actually much lower of a dose than it sounds like, especially at my weight. Now, I don't really know if they have another size, but one full bottle of Robitussin is only 120 milligrams of DXM HBR, so four bottles would be 480 milligrams. For a normal person at my weight with no DXM tolerance, this would be a solid second plateau dose, but since I've had a long-term permanent buildup of DXM tolerance, this trip was nothing more than maybe a late first plateau to experience. Also, I need to mention, I don't make these videos to encourage other people to trip, but if you're watching because you're interested in DXM and want to take it, please watch my dose calculator video in the description so you don't end up in the hospital. Like, don't fucking ever drink four bottles of anything. Goddamn, don't even drink four bottles of Kool-Aid. You'll probably have a sugar coma or something. Back to the trip, I made it home with these four bottles of Robitussin, and no, I did not chug these four bottles in the car before my 20 minute drive home like a lunatic. I waited until I got back home, and after making it back to my dad's, I sat in front of the TV, put on Star Trek Lower Decks, grabbed a fuck ton of bottled water, which I hoard like a fucking cactus, and chased it all down. I did split my doses up three times over 90 minutes, taking one bottle, and then a little over one bottle, and then nearly two, but I don't really think spread Spreading out my doses did anything. While dosing, I powered through Star Trek Lower Decks, which I was just now getting into at that point, until my perception switched and the plot point stopped being linear, and at that point I wasn't immersed and it didn't make much sense for me to watch TV anymore. Now the thing about first plateau effects is that, at least for me, they're more serotonin focused than dissociative, so I wasn't really floating away from my body like on higher plateau trips, and instead I was more aware of the serotonin cascade I was getting, and I ended up playing music through my headphones and dancing around with my shirt off like an idiot because moving around just felt so fucking good. My older brother actually ended up coming downstairs and seeing me dance around in my room because he had to do laundry and he literally came up in my room right next to me to steal Pringles from my dresser and thankfully I was only on a first plateau experience because I was able to talk normally and just told him I was embarrassed that he caught me dancing around like an idiot and he had no fucking clue I was high. Thank the fucking star because I do not have time for more family conflict at this point. So the trip didn't last very long. Because of my tolerance, the serotonin release was fairly short, and I decided to go to sleep immediately once I felt like the peak was over, just so I wasn't awake during the come down, and I woke up sober. And the show goes on. Usually if something was wrong with one of us, my parents thought they could fix it with Robitussin. Ah! I burned my finger! Oh, let me see, boy, let me see. I'll take some Robitussin. Looks like a tooth broke off. Eh, I'll go get the Robitussin. What? Mama Chris just got hit by a car. Oh my God, I'll go get the Robitussin.